Honestly, my thoughts on it is Juden is just a really good dancer. What's good, Papa? And welcome to basically an XG upload day. And for this upload, it is my reaction to XG move number five. I'm super excited. It's very short, so we're definitely gonna have to watch it twice because I know I feel like I'm just gonna miss some things watching it the first time. I'm gonna have to watch it a second. So I don't wanna chit chat too much. I don't wanna yap. So let's go ahead and hop right into the reaction, shall we? Hitting those beats. Okay, yeah. Too short. Too short. Literally too short. Okay. I, we okay. I'm literally I'm literally just gonna go ahead and start over and watch it one more time because that was way too short. I do like that this move is very hip hop esque. I feel like it's it is very Juden. Judin dances this genre so well. Yeah, dude, you can't, dude. Like, she's too, she's genuinely just too good. Uh, okay, I was confused by who that person was because I knew it was one of the XG girls, but right here it says it's performed by Juden and Tina, and Tina is the original choreographer. So, that completely makes sense now. Honestly, my thoughts on it is Juden is just a really good dancer, especially because I'm still in the process of finishing the XG documentary. I think I only have two episodes left, which I took a break from filming because I've heard people say that six and seven are like the most emotional. And I've already been really emotional in some of the past episodes. So I've been like taking a break from watching it because I wanted to like give myself some time to like get ready and like prepare mentally. So this was like the perfect break in between those episodes but from watching the documentary and seeing how they used to train to like do dance for like their basic training and everything to have the skills and basic foundation that they needed to dance to see her dance like this now it's like wow it really just goes to show that practice makes perfect training is needed even if you're like naturally talented and naturally gifted and things like that at the end of the day like training will always help and this just goes to show you know what I mean? And this just like makes me think of because I reacted to um, Studio Chum's Artist of the Month, which was in Hyphen's Nikki. And I saw people say like he's been dancing since he was super young, like three years old, maybe. Um, but obviously now he's gotten training under his belt. So even though he was naturally gifted, naturally talented as a kid, you know, doing so well dancing as a kid, once he got his training, it's like it really just excelled to a different level. And I feel like that's literally XG as well. Like a lot of them are naturally gifted and naturally talented when it comes to dancing and then they were able to get training that just like shot them through the roof like excelled them to the highest degree and it's it's beautiful to see genuinely and i'm i love this type of sound track and like genre of dance for juden because i feel like she pulls it off so well i feel like you know you can tell with each member like everyone has their own like dance style and i feel like juden juden and coconut both are very hip-hop encoded hip-hop swag there's choreo but what makes the choreo better is the groove that they have, the vibe that they exude while doing the choreo, and how comfortable they look doing it. Whereas, like, in the other moves, like, Harvey's move, she was very much, like, you know, like, very, like, cutesy, and it's 
more poppy and um sa- same with like chi well chisa kind of seemed more like tutting and voguing almost it seemed like if i'm remembering correctly from the last move that i watched her do um that's kind of what hers gave maya is like choreo based like give her choreo let her practice the choreo and then she's gonna eat that choreo up you know what i mean but juden and coconut are like the two that i feel like you give them choreo, they're going to remember it. They're going to put their own flavor on it and their own style to it. And I feel like that's what really makes it so unique to them and why it always looks so good when they do it because of how they exude their vibe and their characters and their aura when they do these moves um, by themselves. So, Jiden Girl, XG move number 5, 10 out of 10. It's just, it's so hip, it's so swaggy. I, it like... It gives it makes you make a stank face i know there's been times where i'm reacting to these videos and i'm like mm, mm, and i'm making that face and it's and i know some people are like it seems like you don't like it because sometimes i'm just like frowning but the frown is like a stank face you know what i mean like in dance that's the thing where if something really is like really really good and you really like it and you're really impressed by it you make like a mm, like a disgusted face because in a sense it's like that's nasty and like that is so good type of thing you know what I mean so anytime I make that type of face it's because I'm like into it and I feel like that's what this move was is it was a stank face move because Judah really ate that up and she did so 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 good so actually move number five by Judah easily a 10 out of 10 and that is all for this reaction video I know it's a short one but there's only one move and it was a really short move and we got to do it twice so that is all for this reaction video i hope you enjoyed if you did you can like comment subscribe you can follow all my socials they'll be in the description box below be sure to go check out the other two uploads i did we've got xg's vox number six as well as xg's new single release woke up so be sure to go check out those two videos do whatever you want to do and i'll see you when i see you bye